ACL ladder. But the good news, both of them are starting to put it together. Both the Adelaide number 150 between the two teams. Here's Webster. Travis back out of the top of the key. Cotton blows past Edge and dumps it inside to, to Sean Thomas. Let's yeah, he's still trying to find his, his role and his rhythm as the 400 gamer. He just wanted to get going to it. I like the call by CJ. Get him going, get the fans engaged. See it. That's what, mixing it up and I think John really is just going according to losing form and various name. And he had some issues last week with that broken nose, but notwithstanding that, I still think that he's got a bit more to give as well. Big thanks to CJ Bruton as well for giving us a bit of his time in the pregame. Great to get some access there. Nice finish from West. Game of round 10. In the Hungry Jacks NBL is Franks being aggressive, coach, you said. <laughs> Webster wide open. Good look for three. Buries it. Please. Not sure they'll <laughs> go down that path again in the future. To that degree, anyway. There's McCarran. Three relatively easy made baskets. Travis took it at Johnson. No foul. McCarran gets things moving, and DJ draws an early foul and will get on the free throw. Been there ever since. Turnover. McCarran for Detch, foul. Mm. The baseline. <laughs> McCarran guarded by Travis. Shot clock at five. Johnson for three. Do you remember? I remember your 400. You tried, You took the first 10 shots. <laughs> and Detch. 36 is by one. And Johnson made the pass work and finishes. His first points of the milestone night is Cock. C1 drop, I think that that would be a bit about the tension release as well. 3 of 11 last week. Would, would a coaching change have something to do with that? Maybe he's not running the same plays, maybe he's not getting the same looks. And defensively, and he's done that. Cotton up top. Five on the shot clock to work with. Cleveland all up and in, forces a tough look. Doesn't start anymore, played limited minutes, only about 12 minutes, as that's a beautiful feed. Mm. McCarran to them, spread the floor. Haven't seen him out there yet. He's been a starter for a lot of the season. Rajuk on the offensive glass. McCarran almost. The play's so smart. He reads the play. And we speak of Todd Blanchard, who comes into the game for his first minutes. And <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he plays so smart, and he can read the play. And that's why he can get in those lanes. And that's take, taking a bit of time to to figure out different starting lineups, different combinations, and... Chow down and come in. back. Yeah. Speaking about Perk and their slow start, oh, it's Baldwin. He's yeah. found his feet, but... Obviously, Sheesh. first yeah. team. Soto runs the floor. Look at that athleticism. Wow, he's long, isn't he? Timeout, Perk scored the last six to 36s. That's just beautiful, Reed. The help comes because they hard you to help, and it's the extra pass. Majuk, Majuk, that's a poor, poor pass trying to get into Blanchfield. And Kai Soto, that's a seven foot three guy running the floor, and that's hard to stop. You can throw it up anywhere right up near the rim, and he's going to go get it for you. Easy two for him, get his confidence going. Daniel Johnson play. Drimmick guarded by Cotton. With a hand in the face. Lord him like the poverty-stricken Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> because he he's not Dirk, but he's, he can take. And in our league, he's had a similar type impact. And, I mean, you're talking about one of the, uh, arguably yeah. one of the greatest of all time as Norton goes in for the... I don't know if you were comparing him. Maybe you compared him, but... Soto, I like that little high-low action. It's working for him in the first quarter. Soto. Soto, yeah, the K, Soto, yeah. Thomas takes it at Soto again. He got a piece of that, and those points will count. Nice look on the outside for Cleveland. Knocks it down as well. Compared to what we saw last week against the Kansas Taipans, a much more patient start by the Adelaide 36ers as well, not just coming down and jacking up the first available shot. Antonio's Cleveland. 33% shooter, which doesn't jump off the page at your coach, but it's it's more the way off that... ball screen rather than going underneath. 
Blanchfield foul. Probably it would explain been. a bit. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it was the Adidas thing. Well, there we go. Yeah, oh, that's just... Re Reebok are our official partners. Well, I, I, we'll stop plugging mean... everyone else. Nice pass. Great pass. And that is just perfect for what the Perth Wildcats are doing. And the Perth Wildcats' defense has been poor. So Sean Thomas misses out. 62%. Real easy. Almost had it again. That weak side help. If you get a hard show, you've got to dig at that ball, make that pass out, but a lot tougher. Nice little touch. Good ball. Good ball to side. Running so slow. He's, well, look, it's just because we haven't moved the ball around, we got to get, get guys into place. The Perth Wildcats. And Soto sits down for the last 16 seconds of the opening quarter. This is the way the Wildcats are going to play on those hard shows. You know, they might be better off just switching. Cut. Seven on the clock. Guarded by Nick Marshall. Takes off, leaves him in his dust and hands off to Norton. Wow. Tough finish with a hand.